What's up guys, I'm Luke. This is the Subaru Only channel. It's a channel where all I do is Subaru builds and race my Subaru vehicles and motorsport events, which is pretty much my life. So thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for checking it out. In today's video, I'm going to take a closer look at Subaru camshafts and rocker arms. This video is a continuation on a build series that I'm doing with a 2000 Forester 2.5 liter where I'm replacing the head gaskets. It's a really common failure for these vehicles and it's a great video series to do where I show you all the steps you go through to replace the head gaskets on these cars. In my last video, I installed a set of MLS head gaskets and I bolted the heads down to the engine block and torqued them down to the factory specs using the OEM shop manual. Make sure you check out that video if it's something you think would be valuable. Okay, when it comes to assembling your camshaft, there's basically three components. Of course, you have your camshaft, the main component. Then you have your camshaft cap that goes over the camshaft and holds it in place and allows the camshaft to spin inside the head. And lastly, you have one of the rocker arms. These are what ride on the cam lobes and allow the valves to open and close. I'll talk about that in a little more detail next. Okay, here's a close-up of a Subaru camshaft. Now, I've shown you where a camshaft installs in the head, and you can obviously see what a camshaft looks like, but how do they actually work? And that's what I wanted to talk about right now. So basically, on any camshaft, you have two fundamental components. You're going to have your journal bearings, and that's what this perfectly round component is. And then you'll have your camshaft lobes, and that's what these are with the offset kind of egg shape to them. They provide two completely different tasks. Um, the journal bearings, and on this camshaft, there's a journal bearing here, a journal bearing here, a journal bearing in the middle, and then a journal bearing on the other end. So there's four journal bearing locations of this camshaft. Each one of these journal bearings is perfectly round, and the journal bearing has a little slot in the middle and a hole. Let me see if I can rotate around. So each one of these journal bearings has a slot in the middle with a little hole, and that little hole is an oil feed hole. So oil will come through that little hole, and it will fill the surface, and oil will create a little thin film where this machine surface will ride on. So at all four of these locations, you'll have oil being injected under pressure from your lubrication system. It'll create a thin little film where this little machine surface can ride on. Now you have your lobes. Your lobes are these egg-shaped components right here. Your lobes have nothing to do with your bearing journals. Your lobes are what your roller rockers ride on, and your lobes basically determine when and how high your valves in your head will lift. I made a little diagram on my whiteboard to explain it in a little bit more detail. Okay, here's a little sketch I made to kind of explain what the difference between a cam journal and a cam lobe is. So on a journal bearing, like I was saying, it's perfectly rounded. And you can see that here. And you're going to have oil come out and create a little thin film around the surface of this journal bearing so the camshaft can rotate freely in the head. Cam lobe, on the other hand, that's what this is, has that oblong shape and kind of like an egg shape to it. When people talk about your camshaft profile, they're talking about the shape that your cam lobes are ground to. And like I was saying earlier, your cam lobe determines how high your valves get lifted in your heads, and they determine how long your valves stay open. And that's what these two terms are when people will refer to the cam profiles. They talk about the lift of the cam, and that's how high the valve will be lifted into the head, and the duration, which is how long that valve will stay open when it's open in the head. Journal bearings are different. They're not like needle bearings, and they don't have little ball bearings like skateboard wheels or rollerblade wheel bearings. Journal bearings are two metal surfaces with a thin film of oil in between them. And that's what this figure right here is trying to show. So basically, you're going to have your camshaft journal bearings, and you're going to have your cylinder head journals. And your camshaft journal bearings will actually ride on a thin film of oil that gets injected through that little hole in the camshaft. And that thin film of oil provides the lubrication to provide a very low friction surface so that camshaft can spin freely in the cylinder head. That's basically how a journal bearing works. Okay, so the next component are your roller rocker assembly. And your roller rocker assembly for Subaru engines are basically on a common shaft and they pivot on this common shaft. And these little needle rollers will ride on your camshaft lobes. And lastly, you're going to have your cam cap. Your cam cap is basically just a girdle that bolts over everything and holds your camshaft in place and provides that upper journal surface where your cam journals are spinning with that thin film of oil. So that's what your cam cap does. It doesn't have anything to do with the roller rockers. All it does is bolt over your camshaft and provide that upper bearing surface and hold your camshaft in place. Okay, coming back to the cylinder head, uh, of course, these are the journal bearings where your camshaft is going to ride and spin in. So you can imagine if you had a camshaft installed right there, 
and you had your roller rocker assembly arm over it, as the camshaft lobes are spinning, this rocker arm is going to get pushed down and pivot on that center shaft. And as it pivots down, it's going to compress these valve springs and it's going to push the valves into the combustion chamber and it's going to let the exhaust charge exit the combustion chamber and go into your exhaust system. So, so this is what it obviously looks like before you install your camshaft or any of your rocker arms. And I'll flip the engine over so you can see what it looks like when it's all installed. Okay, I've rotated the engine and on this side I've already installed everything. These are the rocker shafts, this is a cam cap, and the cam shaft is underneath both of these. Alright, I'm going to wrap it up there for today. I'm Luke and this is the Subaru Only channel. It's a channel where all I do is work on Subaru cars, do Subaru builds, and race Subaru vehicles and motorsports events. In the next video, I'll install the camshaft, put the cam cap on, and install the rocker arms. And I'll walk you guys through all the steps and how you do that so you can kind of see it start to finish. Thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you enjoyed the video, if it brought you value, please subscribe, share with your friends. I really appreciate that. Until next time, I'm Luke. Thanks a lot.